Allah says, we sent Musa and his brother Harun alayhim as -salam, to the Pharaoh, Fir'aun, who was the worst. And we told them, go to him and speak to him with soft speech. Soft speech. He didn't say go to him and start insulting him and swearing him and judge him and say, they all knew who the Pharaoh was, but there was hope that perhaps he might turn to Allah. So Allah says, you go to him, speak to him with soft words, that means something palatable, something beautiful, something soft, something lovely. Speak to them with some beautiful words. Speak to him with beautiful words. Why? Perhaps he may be reminded or he might become conscious of Allah. Which means you guys watch your words. And as for him, Allah already knew what was going to happen. But Allah didn't say, I know that the Pharaoh is not going to believe, so don't waste your time going there. Because Allah knows that by you going there, you're fulfilling the instruction of Allah, so you're going to get the reward. Whether or not he gets or she gets guidance is up to Allah. Today, none of us can claim to be better than the Prophet Moses, Musa alayhi salam. Not one. And none of those were ever going to meet or come across, including the biggest enemies of Islam on earth today, can be worse than the Pharaoh himself. Because the Pharaoh used to say, Ana rabbukum ul a'la. I'm your God. I'm the God and I'm the highest. وَقَالَ فِرَعُونُ يَا أَيُّهَا الْمَلَأُ مَا عَلِمْتُ لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ غَيْرِ The Pharaoh told his people, Oh my people, I don't know of a deity fit to be worshipped by you besides me. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ I don't know of a deity for you to worship besides me. That was the height of tyranny. So none of those we're going to ever meet can be worse than the Pharaoh. And none of us can be better than Musa alayhi salam. So don't you think we should be speaking to everyone with a greater concern, with a more beautiful speech, with more softness in our approach.